Hi, I'm Beth from Dry It Can It. Today I'm going to talk about how to dehydrate celery. Celery is one of those vegetables that I think we all use, but how many of us really use all of it at one time? So today I'm gonna to talk about dehydrating it and how I do it, and then the possible uses for it afterwards. Um, first thing I wanna do is my celery is just getting a little bit old, and you can see some of the browner edges on that. And I wanna make sure that I remove those because if your vegetables or your fruits are starting to um, spoil in any way, you don't wanna have spoiled food in your dehydrating tray or, or if you're using it for canning, you don't wanna use that either. Now I regularly use the leaves because they're full of flavor. Some people prefer not to and you can pull the stalks apart if you want. But after I remove any spots that might be bad, I simply chop this in as uniform sizes as possible. So initially it's just really the leaves and I'm going to separate those just a little bit because I'll, those will dehydrate faster than the rest of it. Then I'll just take the celery and I'll slice that into thin slices or the slices about as thick as I would want them when I'm cooking. So dehydrated celery works really well if you're doing soups, if you're doing stews, um, it, it rehydrates fairly well. You don't have to rehydrate it if you're going to put it into uh, some kind of a liquid like a soup. Um, it also is really nice to have on hand when your recipe calls for carrots and onions and celery. If you have the uh, mirepoix, so to speak, of the, of the components of that, in other words, dehydrated celery, dehydrated carrots, and dehydrated onions, it's really nice to just grab a handful of those things and throw them into a pan. All right, so I've pretty much cut and chopped all of my celery, and I just chopped this, the pieces, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch to a third inch or so, um, as evenly as I can. And celery is one of those vegetables that will hold a lot of dirt or sand, so I always put them in some water and then wash them off because I don't want to eat sand, quite frankly. So I use my salad spinner and I just put them in there and swish them around like so. And I'm going to rinse that out and then I'll be right back and show you how I set this up. All right, so I've washed my celery. I washed it and rinsed it twice and then I spun it dry in the salad spinner. You don't need to have a celery spinner. You can take it, shake it off real good, dry it with a towel, and put it on your dehydrator. I like to spin it drier simply because it's gonna be, it's going to shorten my dehydrating time just a little bit. So once, once I've done that, I'm simply going to take my celery and I'm going to put that on my trays, my dehydrator trays. Now I'm using trays that have an insert with some small holes on there and that will keep the celery from falling through as opposed to the tray itself. When the, when the celery dehydrates, it would fall right through the tray. So you simply wanna put it on your tray and then spread it out so that it's about, on a, about a single layer. You don't really have to worry about much if it's touching each other uh, simply because the pieces are going to shrink quite a bit and probably halfway through, I'll just move this around a little bit. So celery, will keep its color pretty well. I generally don't blanch it. Some people will blanch it. If you're gonna blanch it, I would blanch it only for about a minute or so. Um, that supposedly improves the color and keeps the nutrients. I find that the color is really good afterwards, so I just skip that step completely. So once you put them on, on a dehydrating tray, put them in your dehydrator at 125 degrees. 125 degrees is pretty standard for most vegetables. If you are um, putting them in there, you're going to want to have them in there for, again, depending upon the, your salary, depending upon the moisture content, depending upon the humidity in your home, you're probably looking at anywhere from uh, probably five to maybe nine hours uh, of dehydrating time. Even the thickness of your salary is going to make a difference. Once you think it's done, you're gonna to wanna to take it out of your dehydrator tray and you're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. That's really important because when you take something out of your dehydrator, it's going to be warm and it's going to be probably soft and pliable. With celery, you wanna make sure that it's crispy. It shouldn't have any bend, it shouldn't have any gift. It's going to shrink quite a bit, um, but that, that's okay, that will work out well. But you wanna have it crispy. When, you're when your celery is completely done, you wanna put it in a moisture-proof container 
and you want to keep it there for about four to seven days. Give it a good shake once a day. You're going to be checking for two things. Number one, you're going to make sure that there's no moisture uh, in your jar. If there is, that's telling you your salary is too wet and you need to put it back on the dehydrator. And you also want to check and make sure, I've got a mosquito flying around. You also want to make sure that your salary is not sticking together. The pieces should flow freely. When you, when you condition any fruit or vegetable coming out of the dehydrator, what you're doing is taking whatever little bit of moisture might be left, and it might only be about 10% moisture left in salary, and you're making sure that that's spread evenly among the pieces of, of uh, in this case, salary that you have. And if you do that faithfully, you're much less likely to get any spoilage with your salary and or any other thing. So conditioning is really, really important. Um, in terms of how to use it, I've already mentioned it's great for soups, it's great for stews, it doesn't necessarily have to be rehydrated. Uh, you can use it in flavoring, you can rehydrate it and use it in salads. If you're going to cook with it, you can just put it right in the pan with your carrots, with your onions, whatever you want to use it for. I'll have at least one recipe below, one link for salary. I'll also have a link to the salad spinner in case you're interested in getting one. Um, but that really is simple. Chop it up, even pieces as much as you can, 125 degrees, let it sit for 15 minutes, then condition it for four to seven days, and then store it in a moisture-proof container. If you do all of that, your salary should store for about a year. Um, it's a great addition to have in the pantry. It's a great way to save uh, food from going to waste simply because most of us don't use a whole a bunch of salary at one time. So if you like this video, you, you feel like you learned something, please subscribe to the channel, please share the video. Um, let me know how it works out for you. I appreciate you watching and until next time, happy dehydrating.